these are our, our adult western pond turtles that we've brought in for the new exhibit that's just adjacent to the conservation lab. And the idea is to try to interpret the full circle of the uh, western pond turtle conservation program. We do the head starting at the zoo, which a lot of people are aware of, but there's a, a very large field portion of that project where people are tracking adult female pond turtles to their nests providing predator exclusion cages over those nests and going in to collect the hatchlings. So this is an opportunity to sort of show people what a natural habitat would look like, what the other elements of the program are, and to see the adult pond turtles once they've reached maturity. These are full-size turtles. They'll, they'll get a little larger and they change over time, but they're significantly larger than the hatchlings that people are used to seeing here at the zoo. Um, when our hatchlings come in, they're only about the size of a quarter. And over the course of a year, we're able to grow them up to the size of about a three-year-old turtle or around 100 grams. <laughs> These guys just weighed in at 350, 450 grams, so they're significantly larger. People, I think, will be impressed to see the adult turtles. One of the turtles has had a radio transmitter attached to it, and this is um, an old transmitter from Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife. It's exactly the model that they use when they go out and track these turtles in the wild. And it's an attempt to kind of illustrate for our visitors uh, what goes on with these turtles. They actually collect turtles in the spring and attach these transmitters and then they can follow them during nesting season and find them. And so it's, it's a way to show visitors that these are very tiny, very unobtrusive little transmitters that make it possible to follow these turtles to their nests and collect the hatchlings and protect them from those non-native predators. It's nice because it has both a land and a water portion. Most often this time of year people will see the turtles on the water side, but definitely there is an opportunity for them to climb over and move up to what we would, would be more of a traditional nesting habitat for the adult turtles. Maybe during the winter you would be more likely to see them over there. Our new turtle exhibit that exhibits both species actually of, of our native turtles, both the western pond turtle and the western painted turtle, is right in the middle of the old Cascades building that people are familiar with. So it's, it's right on the main path and can be easily viewed in our Cascades building.